Why are the Republicans impeaching Joe Biden now? Um, was it a promise that Kevin McCarthy made to the Republican uh, Freedom Caucus in exchange for their vote for his speakership? Or is there someone behind the scenes pulling the strings? Maybe a bit of column A or column and column B. Uh, turns out, yes, a former president, currently indicted, possible criminal, uh, probable, definite criminal, criminal in certain st circumstances, is pulling the strings uh, from behind this impeachment attempt of Joe Biden. Uh, in fact, the former president has been speaking weekly with House GOP Conference Chair Elise Stefanik. She was the first member of the Republican leadership to come out in support of the impeachment. The two spoke Tuesday just after House Speaker Kevin McCarthy announced Republicans will be pursuing the inquiry, according to two people familiar with the conversation. But even before that, he's having dinners. He's meeting with Kevin McCarthy himself. So Sunday night, Trump had dinner at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey with Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, an ally of Trump, if you didn't know. And I'm so, I'm so happy if you didn't know who she was. And Kevin McCarthy himself. At the gathering, the topic of impeachment was discussed according to a person familiar with the conversation who spoke on the condition of anonymity. And if you needed any more evidence that Donald Trump has wanted a Joe Biden impeachment, here he is bleeding. The Republicans in Congress, the well meaning, keep talking about an impeachment inquiry on crooked Joe Biden. Again, to Sabrina's point, just making crooked now about Joe Biden instead of Hillary. Um, look, the guy got bribed. He paid people off. He wouldn't give $1 billion to Ukraine unless they, quote, got rid of the prosecutor. Biden is a stone cold crook. You don't need a long inquiry to prove it. It's already proven. These lowlifes impeached me twice, I won, and indicted me four times for nothing. Either impeach the bum or fade into oblivion, they did it to us. And let's focus on that, impeach the bum or fade into oblivion. In other words, I with my MAGA wand made of doo-doo will not anoint you if and when I am the president of all of the Lucy cigarettes in prison, like he, like, like basically, like you're gonna fall out of favor with me, right? Impeach him uh, or not. And what's so, let's never forget how ironic it is that that Donald Trump was impeached for blackmailing the president of Ukraine to dig up dirt on Joe Biden. Again, Sabrina, this might very well be the same exact case, the Burisma stuff. The Hunter by himself, which again, it, there's nothing there. There's literally nothing there. Nothing happened. Is it illegal for him to serve on this corporation because his dad is Joe Biden? Maybe it's not in. It's not written down anywhere. But so this is just so wild to me that they turn it completely on its head. Um, again, the projection always so strong. But you know. It makes sense, like if you're a Republican and you want to stay relevant with the MAGA base or at least Donald Trump, you're gonna go along with this impeachment. I guess my question to you is, don't you think they're then pulling some of these strings in these committees? Why wouldn't they just say like subpoena him or do they secretly know, nah, it's better not to. It's better to keep it kind of vague. So something tells me that Trump is kind of a vengeful person. So hmm. if he were to be, you know, pulling some strings behind the scenes, then yeah, it would make sense that he would absolutely want, you know, Biden's name also associated with impeachment cuz right now that's one of, you know, the biggest red flags about Donald Trump running again. Oh, but he's been impeached. Um <laughs> Twice, twice. And so I think that's him trying to kind of like muddy the waters and level the playing field um, for this next upcoming election. It's like, oh, well, he's impeached. Why can't I run again? Um, mm. Which for his base, like that could make sense. So yeah. I, I really think they're just throwing anything they have possible. Yeah. And a reminder that when Democrats did lead the impeachment the first time that was through Congress. There was a vote to begin the impeachment inquiry. It was not unilateral in the way that Kevin McCarthy has done. I mean, just like I know it's really difficult because we live on the upside down. But if you could for a second imagine that Obama called um, you know, uh, Nancy Pelosi and said, I need you to begin impeachment inquiries, the impeachment inquiry into Donald Trump. Like that's effectively what happened. That is not at all how it played out. But that is what we're seeing now that the former president calling on the House Speaker to impeach the current president. I mean, 
I don't know, does nothing matter anymore? Is corruption not a thing anymore? Is this just not a complete, like shoe on the other foot? Would Fox News not be running this 24 seven screaming their heads off? Would people not already be on the streets over this? Like it's just wild to me what we've normalized, um, but here we are. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.